Well, good day there, folks. Neil Morrison from Kamikaze. Welcome to this week's edition of Catch and Cook. As you just saw, um, casting in the bank, I'm in a South Gippsland estuary, fairly tidal one. I've been having an absolute ball um, catching Australian salmon for the last half hour, but you've seen enough of those. What I've decided to do, as the tide drops out, I'm going to be chasing flathead over the sandbanks. As the tide really drops out, um, they'll wait in the channels for the bait fish and the prawns to come off that shallow water and they'll hit them on the edges and that's where I'll be targeting them. So that's in the next 20 minutes or so. I've picked a glorious day. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I'd show you one of my favourite fish, which I hope is one of these, what I've got on. Yes, it is. It's an estuary perch. I'll land this guy and show you. Won't be long. There's that fish. Beautiful little estuary perch. Probably, I don't know, 36, 37 centimetres. <laughs> he took my plastic with him. Now, I've said this many times, I love catching estuary perch. I will not kill them. I kind of hope you don't either. Um, they're a bit of an icon in uh, Gippsland, East Gippsland, South Gippsland. But they're easily killed off. Um, there's some good spawning numbers here at the moment, and they are spawning. I've caught some big fish this morning. I got the fly rod out earlier uh, and I got a 48 centimetre on that. There's some lovely fish, big fish, but they're big females spawning. That's one of the little males. I'm going to have some fun catching those, then I'm going to take you over here. Have a look at this little bit of film I've just done before on the GoPro. It'll give you an idea what I've been doing for the last half hour. As you saw, some lovely fish. I'm kind of hoping some big pike will come along. They're big short fin pike here, or snook, and they grow pretty big. Um, I'll try and put that rod behind me. And all we're doing is throwing that plastic out, and it doesn't matter whether it's a minnow style, um, or a, a wriggle tail, or a little paddle tail. As long as it's not too big, I'm bumping it along the bottom. And there's a fish. Now, because they're spawning, they are stacked up. 
And like I said, they're easily killed off at this time of the year. Please don't. The limit is five fish. I don't even take that. Like I say, we don't kill them whatsoever. Very, very occasionally we've had a lure that's damaged one and we've had to kill it. Uh, I don't like it. There's some big fish among them. My personal best is 52 centimetres and it was caught right here. My son Ricky got a 53, as usual. I'll just land this bloke. Now, a lot of these fish, they're in timber down there. I don't know whether you can see on the camera. The marks here, um, they usually have busted up tails and bits of, bits of skin off. The dolphins give them hell. There's the odd seal in here that does the same. You can go back. Thanks, mate. So, we don't kill them. There's enough people killing them now. There's enough uh, prey like the dolphins and the seals doing it. I don't need to do it as well, but they're a lot of fun. They're a fantastic game fish. I've had a ball on the fly rod, um, a little five weight. Normally I'd use a seven or eight for this because some big fish. Let's see what else we can find. There's a lot of them down there. Water's crystal clear. I'm in about five and a half, six metres. I can see all the timber on the bottom. That's where these fish are. If you're not losing gear in amongst that timber, the occasional jig head and plastic, then you aren't fishing for them. They're in amongst that timber and they stay there. Another one. Not big fish today. Okay. Hopefully something big will come along. 